Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Night vision is cool stuff. Now, the night vision scopes, that's actually really useful for a lot of folks that are predator hunting. Um, yeah, you know, just hunting at night, uh, you know, hogs, stuff like that. Now, what about NVGs, night vision goggles? You know, for a lot of us, this is gonna fall under the want and not the need. Law enforcement, military, absolutely. Um, they are awesome. One of the things that I, I'm reviewing these, okay? So I just did reviews for AGM's Wolf, their entry-level NVGs, and also the Neath, their entry-level digital night vision scope. Now, with both of these, there is something that you may want to think about adding to that, and that is an infrared laser, designator, illuminator. Um, yeah, again, this is probably going to fall more into the want than the need. This is by Laser Speed. This is the LSM6. Um, all I want to do with this review is a product review of this particular product um, and show you what we can do with it. I think you're going to want to check it out. I'm Drew Case, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you honest product reviews, no podium, no pulpit, and no politics. Every now and then somebody wants to try to talk politics. Uh, another channel or the news, folks. What I wanna talk about today is Laser Speeds LSM6. Now, I do need to point out, if you do not have NVGs or night vision optics, this is completely worthless. Okay, now this one actually does have a visible green laser, but you don't need all the other extras and you don't need the price tag for just a green laser. Now, I do want to address the elephant in the room. Laser Speed is a company out of China. Now, before people get on their, their high horse, uh, look at your optics, pretty much everything's made in China. The one thing is though, they are, at least that I could find, very limited in where I can find this product. The big one was eBay. For some people, that's going to be a red flag. I'm just looking to do the product review. I would love to see them based on my experience with this. I would love to see them on Amazon and then also start into getting into, you know, some of the bigger, more known stores, Natchez, Primary Arms, Optics Planet. You know, I think with the quality, they would take off. But anyway, Let's just focus on the product review, leave the rest for you and for them to figure out. Let's take a quick look at the specs and tech and see what we're looking at here. Okay, so this is Laser Speed's newest LSM6. And they sent this to me, they wanted me to review it. Do an out of the box here. Okay, lens cleaning stuff. We've got papers, tools. Looks like uh, the Velcro, pressure pad. Looks like we got everything we need in there. A nice little pouch, I guess, to carry it. We've got instructions and the unit. It is heavy, guys, I'll tell you that. It's solid. Now I've got some other laser speeds. They put this in, 
and you have to take that out for the high setting. I'm not sure why they have that. Um, okay, so we take that out and it's actually got a spot here and we just put it in there. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is, is when we zero this, it zeroes everything, all of them. Okay, and what we have here is V for visible. If we turn this on, okay, we don't see anything. Okay, when we turn it to the V, we get the green light, which is great, it's green laser. Then off, and then we have all the different settings. The infrared illumination, and then the laser, and then both, and then high infrared illumination, high laser, and high both. Okay, and to switch off. This is not necessarily an on or off button, that is actually, if you don't wanna have the pressure pad, you can use this. So just make sure that this is off. Okay, so this goes to the pressure pad. The little thing that, the little plug that goes in there, we can actually put here to get it out of the way. Otherwise it's gonna dangle and get in your way. And then this is just simply to dial in, focus or go out with the illumination. And man, you can really dial this down, pinpoint. And then we have the windage and elevation. Okay, the batteries go in here. It takes one CR123 or CR123A, and then you kind of have this little compartment here. Um, that did not pass the IPX rating in for this little compartment in the submersion, and I'm not sure what all you could actually fit in there. Battery's not gonna fit in there, maybe some matches or something. And then our lenses are there, and then this just pulls up and goes across to cover them up. Yeah, so on paper, it looks great. I just happen to be doing a whole bunch of night vision reviews here. Like I said, I'm doing the, the Wolf 7, okay, the NVGs. I'm also doing uh, the Neath by AGM, Night Vision Digital, their entry-level scoop. And then I'm also working on my PSA Jackal, the ultimate version, and I got all kinds of stuff going on. I'm also working on uh, the helmet that I got the NVGs on. Anyway, I'm going to use this in all of those. So let's just start having some fun, or I should say I've already had the fun. Let me show you what I was doing with this in each of those reviews, and then it will be time to take it off and torture test it and see how durable this is. It's almost too bright.
Nice. Okay, that's a high infrared illuminator. Wow, that is one intense beam. Yeah, that was, that was awesome, guys. That was so much fun. I absolutely love these. But again, if you don't have night vision, it's worthless. But man, if you've got night vision, you can have so much fun with this. And I see lots of applications for hunting, aside from, you know, tactical for law enforcement. Anyway, that makes it... What time? Whew. Okay, so I would expect that this survives both the drop and the submersion. I just got myself wet. Okay, let's give that a little time. Find out. Okay, so it has been 20 minutes now. I did reach down. I just want to show you, and I turned on the green laser. Is it sitting down there under the water? So obviously... Uh, as far as I can tell, it's passed. We'll take it out. We'll open up the battery compartment. Um, but it, it should be good to go. Um, then we're going to throw it in the freezer and see if that green laser stays on at sub-zero temperatures. Make sure it didn't come. Okay, didn't want to... Let's give it a good freeze and then double check, make sure that the laser's working after being frozen in here and put it back on the gun. We ought to be good and frozen by this point. Let's just check. <laughs> All right, nice. Well, it works. Sub-freezing temperatures, sweet. Let's get it thawed out. Uh, we will have to wait. Uh, you know, actually, I can do it during the day and uh, make sure that it's still working. Quick, just showing you, opened up the battery compartment and there is no moisture in there. So that was sealed tight. And then there's also kind of this little spare compartment here. And that is dry. Okay, in that little spare compartment, we do have some water in there but it doesn't go to the internals it's you know i think it would be fine for i'm not sure what you would use that for but anyway you've got kind of a little compartment there and it's not ipx6 rated the rest of it passed with flying color okay so it passed the torture test i've got it mounted back on we're going to test the green laser here in the day and since they're all zeroed the same way we get the same results So there you go, it passed the torture test. Awesome. Real quick, my bottom line on this, like I said, the product review, I was really impressed with it, guys. You know, it seems really solid. I like it, it survived the torture test. I really enjoyed it. It seems good. Like I said, I would like to see this uh, for sale in different areas that would make me as a consumer a little more comfortable purchasing it. Um, also, maybe some sort of site in the US as far as distribution, warranty, stuff like that. I personally like to communicate with somebody here in the US. You know, most of the companies that we know um, and trust, SIG, Hollow Sun, you know, all these companies, their products are made in China, guys, you know, but the company, or at least a part of it, is here in the US. I think that would be huge for laser speed. From what I have seen so far, the product is really solid. Yeah, so it passed the torture test, which is awesome. I would expect and hope that it would at that price tag. But you know, if you have not done a lot of shopping around, okay, the, the IR illuminators, designators, lasers, they are not cheap, guys. 
So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I hope it answered some questions that you might have had. Until next time on Beyond Seclusion, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're out doing stuff like this, guys, shooting, gun-related things, uh, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment, whether we like it or not. So do me a favor. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.